Welcome back to the channel, my name's Jemison, and today I'm bringing you a real quick video on how to use zip folder extractors. If you're wondering why gaming channels are making this, it's very simple. Most mods for modern games are in the zip format, and all your old school ROMs and retro emulators are in zip folders, and 9 times out of 10, the biggest problem people in either camp will come across is the program won't work because they didn't know you had to unzip it, or don't know how to unzip it. There are exceptions to this rule, but that is generally the case. So with that in mind, let's get on to the video. To get our hands on the most popular free to use open source zip extractor, we're going to open our internet browser, I'm going to use Chrome, and head to 7zip.org, the link will be in the description, but once here, it has all this information. You're going to want to come up to the very top here, and choose a download type. They have 32-bit for older systems, 64-bit for more modern and newer systems, and I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what ARM64 is, I'm not in the mood to look that up. But the top two here are the main ones you're going to look at, and if you have a more modern system, so I'm going to say anything 2020, late 2019 and up, it's likely a 64-bit architecture. But if not, you can use 32-bit, and you can check in your computer. But for the sake of this video, I know what mine is. It's 64-bit, so we're just going to click download, wait for it to download. Click our downloads folder, tell us to show us the EXE's location, close our browser, double click the 7 blah 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 x64 EXE. That pings the computer, asking me if to give it permission, say yes. Now it'll tell you where do you want us to install it. The default location within your C drive program files, probably a good place to put it because it's with your operating system. Hit install. Let it install. It's done. Click close. You can close your downloads folder. And now we've got that installed, it's ready to test it on a zip file. I'm just going to go take my Visual Boy Advance zip file out from a previous video. As you can see, I prefer to pay and use WinRAR because I've used that since my high school days and I've never had an issue with it. But if you want to open it with 7-zip, you just go right click, come down to where your 7-zip is, it'll tell you how do you want us to open it. You're going to say extract to whatever the file name you had, in this case Visual Boy, and click extract. And just like that, it'll give you its own folder with all the software within it. If you want to re-zip this one up guys, simply go onto it, right click, go back into the 7-zip, click the add archive function, it'll give you all this information, if you want to change what type of format, drop down bar here, I'm just going to make it into a zip file again, we click OK, and just like that, it's made us a new Visual Boy zip file. Well, that's it for this video guys, I hope it helped you, I will probably do one on WinRAR in the future. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to leave some feedback on this video, a suggestion for a future one, or just want to say good day, drop a comment down below. And if you really want to help me out, consider hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, my name's Jamison, and I'll see you all in the next one.